how might the return to MECQ and ECQ affect uh, the gains that we saw last month and how many will the stricter lockdown add to the number of unemployed, uh, especially from the NCR plus area? Well, that, that's true, Jess, because the survey uh, of the labor survey just uh, came after, uh, well, 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 right before rather, uh, the uh, the 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 hard lockdown on uh, March 29. So uh, that, that's why it's kind of surprising to see uh, the latest data, unemployment data, easing to 7.1 percent from 8.8 percent. But uh, nonetheless, that, that that still reflected the reopening of uh, measures to reopen the economy in the early part of the month, uh, but only to be taken back. Uh, well, in in view of the ECQ that started the. Uh, well, on March 29 for two weeks and uh, until April 11, and it was followed by MECQ. Though uh, th that's a reality, uh, we may see the unemployment rate picking up again come uh, for the month of April uh, because, uh, of, of course, the hard lockdowns resulted to uh, some uh, re reduction in economic and business activities and lower capacity for uh, some industries and businesses. But the only difference now is that uh, uh, compared to a year ago, the hard lo hard lockdowns a year ago is that uh, we still have public transportation and the, some of the thereby allowing uh, many of the essential industries and the workers to, to be able to do their jobs and to be able to uh, fulfill their work. So uh, at least that's a key difference because if, if you recall, Jess, a year ago, uh, we we saw the the peak in unemployment rate. Uh, around uh, April of last year. So oh, mm -hmm. we would only see some slight uptick, maybe towards, uh, uh, it will be definitely uh, high single-digit levels. It would be less than 10%, maybe around uh, back to 8 or even 9% that, that at best. So that's what we have to expect. But hopefully this would only be temporary because the ECQ was only uh, good for two weeks and we, only have, we already had MECQ, meaning there, there's already greater capacity uh, for the operations of many uh, businesses and industries since uh, April 12. And, and that mm -hmm. would last until May 14, unless uh, extended. So that's how mm -hmm. we see things, hopefully. And, uh, well, if things get better, uh, because the 7.1% the, the data that we had, that's uh, the, well, the, uh, the, the prior to the hard lockdowns, that's the best. Mm -hmm. Since uh, the lockdown, that's the best since the January pandemic started year. for the country. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and that 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 happened at the time of uh, GCQ. Mm -hmm. So there's a good chance again, maybe in the coming months, if uh, if the cases get better, and especially if the uh, vaccines uh, arrive uh, in in a large way. Uh, well, mm -hmm. we 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 only had good news uh, just. Uh, a few hours ago, that uh, we would see a, an increase in COVID nineteen vaccine supply come mm -hmm. uh, May, and hopefully the the well the expectation is still third quarter and or the fourth quarter, and mm -hmm. hopefully by then cases would meaningfully go down uh, for the new COVID cases, and uh, that would allow uh, and justify further reopening of the economy, and hopefully we would be back to GCQ and mm -hmm. employment data would improve thereafter.